sweet Jesus. What have I gotten myself into? Alright folks, I've made a lot of progress off camera. As we can see here, I've got the timing cover off, I've got the valve covers off. I've even taken the uh, electrical harness for the coils and the injectors and all that. I've taken that out because um, there's some of the clips that I need to replace because somebody did a tune up on this thing and just totally jacked up the clips for the injectors and the coils. So I'm going to replace those. Got the exhaust manifold off on this side and only managed to break two exhaust studs. And there they are. <laughs> One and two. So that's a good thing. But hey, the cylinder head's coming off anyway. No big deal. We'll uh, get those pulled out when it's at the machine shop. I'm pr there's probably going to be a couple that are stuck in here. In fact, when I pulled the coil boots out on this driver's side head, the uh, the boots ripped apart and there's a couple of spark plugs that are stuck in that head. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off and we'll just make sure everything's hunky-dory. I was only going to do the one side, but then somebody on Facebook... Uh, it's weird. This old man I used to work with always used to say, you don't have time to do it right, but you got time to do it twice. And uh, that's what that dude on Facebook said. And, and whoever you are, thanks again. You know what? Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull both off and just get it done and over with to make sure that everything's good. So let's get to it. Okay, so we got the cylinder head off on the passenger side. We look at uh, cylinder number three there. You can see the discoloration, most likely from the washout from the loss of compression, but uh, nothing too bad there. To come over here, I've got the cylinder head apart and we're looking at intake valve for number three right there. We know that it was leaking through the intake and the valve itself seems, well, it's actually not. Oh, now I see it. Now I see it. Okay, so we figured out what's going on here and I'm going to use cylinder number two as a demonstration. We can see here, I've got my light under there and we're looking directly through the intake port. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set you inside of here. Now we see there on cylinder number two. Now I'm going to slowly turn the camshaft until that doesn't move anymore. Now, you can't see any of that light coming through. So now, we see on cylinder number three here, the valve is open. So I'm going to move our light to reflect that, okay? The valve is open, and we're gonna turn the crankshaft again. Boom. That will not close anymore, but you can see, just barely, there is light coming through there. That's not good. It has sucked a valve, so thank God the cylinder head can be uh, repaired, rebuilt. We'll go through all of that. I'm still gonna take the driver's side one off just to make sure that absolutely everything is perfect with the top end of this truck. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be fantastic. I am so happy for that. Oh my God. Whew. All right, I got the uh, driver's side off of here and already broken one. Looks like possibly two. Yeah, look two. Holy crap, that one came out. That one came out. That one came out. Sweet. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Only two of them broke off on here. And no, Jake, I'm not referring to you as a monkey. This side doesn't look too bad. Do gotta get those spark plugs out though. So here we have the engine wiring harness. Okay. And this is one of the clips for the injector connector. Well, when I say clip, I mean the absence of. Right inside of here is supposed to be a plastic clip, but 
Nine times out of 10, the guys that do the tune-ups or change injectors on these things, they don't know how to do these clips to where they don't break. You gotta push them in, then push the clip, and then it'll pull off. Some guys, they just grab it and it's so brittle, it just comes apart. So I'm gonna end up replacing all 10 of these clips. And I've looked at the ones for the coils and they all have their clips. So we should be good there. Everything else is looking fantastic on this harness, so it shouldn't take too long to get that done. And there they sit, stripped down, ready to go to the machine shop. Uh, you eagle-eyed viewers will notice that the counterbalance shaft isn't on this one. Uh, don't worry, um, <laughs> it will go back on, trust me. Or else the engine's gonna run like crap if I don't. There's a timing mark on this gear back here and a timing mark on this gear for the counterbalance shaft. So, and I had to take it off to get the bolts out. So once I get the bolts back in and everything torqued down, I can realign it and everything will be nice and gravy again. <sighs> so let's fast forward, shall we? And so the very next day at the butt crack of noon. All right, so we got the cylinder heads dropped off at this place and uh, they came recommended by the guys that did the leak down test. And uh, I'm happy because I just spent like five, 10 minutes talking with this old guy. You know, nothing nothing can replace decades of experience. So I'm, I'm absolutely happy. These guys are gonna do a great job. They're gonna let me know what's going on with it. And yeah, they can, they can handle everything on this. Next project I get, if it's gonna need some machine work, I'm definitely coming back here. So awesome, see you back at the house. Okay, so the cylinder heads are off at the machine shop and uh, they're in the hands of skilled craftsmen doing their best. Be a while before we get those back or probably hear anything about them. So what's left for me to do? Well, plenty. First off, what we need to do is we gotta get these head gaskets off of here and clean up that surface so it's so it doesn't mess up the new head gaskets. And uh, still got the wiring harness. I wanna go through and change out the injector clips on that. And uh, yeah, we just do some regular general cleanup on this and yeah, it's gonna be boring. So I'm not gonna film that. Bummer. You know what was that I was saying in the other video, I'm gonna go through a lot of these bags cause I keep putting just minuscule amounts of bolts in them. Well, this one, it's getting one bolt for the dipstick tube. And uh, funny story actually, when I worked at Ford, I forgot to put a dipstick tube back in after doing a cylinder head job on an F-150 and uh, didn't make a huge mess, but it was enough to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> Smoke everywhere. Oh yeah, and a couple of you were asking about a uh, toolbox review and a tour and whatnot and everything. So um, that one's blue, that one's black, and they're great. Moving on. What's in the box? Me What's gun. in the box? Oh, and I've also got the extremely boring task of ordering parts. Yay. <sighs> yep, they're still on there. Um, quite frankly, I just, I don't feel like getting dirty today. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take inventory of my tools and put them all away and where they're supposed to go and all that, make sure I'm not missing anything. And uh, you know what? We'll pick this back up when we get the cylinder heads back to see what's going on with those. So until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.